Hi, thanks for visiting ExtremeGuard.com. Today I've got the Google Nexus 4. This is a phone that's that's uh, made by LG. It's being sold by Google. Uh, you can pick pick one of these up. What I want to do is a brief product review of this device. And let's start off by talking about pricing. You can get the 8 gig version for $299. You can pick up the 16 gig version for $349. So as far as getting a uh, brand new top of the line Android device, um, it's it's packed with some really nice hardware on the inside, and it's coming at a very low low price. It's unlocked. You can use it on any um, service pr provider that's the uh, GSM bandwidth. So this is a global phone that, that that's unlocked. It's very impressive that the price is so low for such an amazing device. So keep that price point in mind when we talk about the review. Some people have a, a couple of complaints about the Nexus 4, um, and we'll address a couple of those uh, during the review. Now, the inside you've got a quad-core 1.5 gigahertz processor. That's the Snapdragon S4 Pro. Very quick processor. I've been very, I've been impressed with how fast Windows load, with how fast uh, you can scroll back and forth through applications. Um, it's got two gigs of RAM. Uh, like I said, it runs on the latest version of Jelly Bean. I do want to show you a couple of the uh, features of that latest version of Jelly Bean. Uh, first thing I want to show you is when I, when you open up to the to the unlock screen. This, this looks pretty much normal. This is nothing too new right here. Uh, what's new though is if you scroll over here to the left, you see this box, it's got a plus, and you can customize your unlock screen. So I can press that plus right now. I'd like to add a, an inbox for my Gmail. I'm gonna just select the inbox, and now right on my unlock screen, let me, let me show you. Uh, I've got the clock, but if I scroll to the left, I actually get my Gmail inbox. You can do a couple different things with this uh, customization. You can add your calendar, you can add your text messaging, and the sound search feature of Google, um, of the Google Play Store. Now, jumping back out to the unlock screen, I want to show you the clock feature as well. They've changed this a little bit. If you click actually on the clock itself and then unlock the device, it's going to bring you to this screen where you see the clock. Um, in the top left corner, you can also see a timer, so we can set a five minute or let's do a five second timer real quick, that timer will count down. So if you're cooking, that's that's a nice little feature to have right at the tips of your fingers. Um, you've also got a stopwatch that's in the top right corner. These are apps that are not brand new, but the accessibility right at the unlock screen is nice. It's a nice new feature. Um, I find myself uh, not needing to stumble through my list of apps just to find these uh, seldom used apps. Um, so jumping back to the home screen, other thing I want to show you about the, the new version of Jelly Bean is the no notification bar at the top. Uh, pulling the notification bar down, you see that this is almost the exact same format as we saw before. The one difference is in the top right corner where you would have seen the uh, settings button, the, the quick settings button, you actually have this little uh, portrait picture with some squares around it. If I select that, that will rotate this other uh, panel around and you can see some settings such as brightness, uh, the, the Wi-Fi. Um, the, ba the battery life, airplane mode, Bluetooth, things like that are just uh, a tap away. You don't have to jump, you don't have to scroll into your settings folder to get to these quick settings. I really like this feature um, and I think it's very intuitive. It's something that we thought we, uh, or that we, we think we need now and that we didn't even know that we wanted it before. So that's that's a nice look at the at some of the features of the Jelly Bean. Uh, you've also got an interactive screensaver when you're when you're charging the device. Uh, that's not something I'm, I'm going to show you right now. Um, one thing I do want to show you is they've they've integrated this app called Movie Studio with the Nexus 4. And what you can actually do is you can import videos, you can import pictures, and you can edit them on a timeline. It's just like some some basic video software. You can edit your videos. Um, for example, I've I've actually taken a, a video here. I've taken a picture. I've put them into my timeline, and I can show you that that video real, real quick. Just zooming in and out on Nexus 4, showing you that it auto focuses, and then a still image of that that Nexus 4 box that I was holding. So I've got my video how I want it. I, I I can if I want record more video from here, take a photo, import a video, import an image, um, or import music. Those those are the options it gives me. I can also export this movie and. 
I was pretty impressed. It'll let me export the video in 1920 by 1080 at high quality. So you could you could export this in low quality and email it to a friend, or you can export it in high quality and even watch it on an HD TV. A pretty fun little application here that I think a lot of people will get a, will, will get a good kick out of. Um, now I want to talk a little bit about the cameras. Um, I, um, the front camera is a 1.9 megapixel front facing camera. It'll record video in 720p. The back camera is probably where you're going to do a uh, video recording with. This is an 8 megapixel camera. Um, it's got an LED flash and it will record video in 1080p. So pretty impressive front and back. Um, on the front of the device you get the Corning Gorilla Glass. It's got some really nice rounded edges. The curve into uh, the bezel I find when I'm swiping that that has a very nice feel that my finger can just float off the edge of the device and overall it's sleek, it fits well in the hand. I'm very very impressed with the look of this device. Even on the back you get the Corning Gorilla Glass as well. You've got a nice uh, texture on here um, that, that looks very cool to me. I like it. Um, it's got the Gorilla Glass on there as well. Um, and so pretty much overall I'm very impressed with the device. A couple of areas where this might lack is in the call volume if you're in a call um, it does sound like you need to turn up the volume and it's it's already at max volume. Sometimes you'll have a hard time hearing, especially if um, the other caller doesn't have a, a super strong signal. You, it lacks 4G LTE, so you do not have 4G LTE. Uh, the way that they've made up for this is it does run on HSPA+, which in some cases is just as fast as 4G LTE. So if you've got a GSM carrier like T-Mobile that, that does do the HSPA+, then this device is going to have 4G-like speeds, um, so you shouldn't have to worry about it. If you're on a different carrier like Verizon, you're going to be upset because, for one, you can't use this phone because they they use the CDMA um, bandwidth. Um, you cannot use this device. But um, all across the world, they do use the the GSM uh, bandwidth. So you're going. This is a, a global unlocked phone that you get from from Google at a very good price, which is impressive. So notwithstanding a couple of the uh, of the drawbacks like the low volume, no 4G LTE, and the lack of a micro SD um, expansion port, um, I don't see the the micro SD um, not being there as a big deal, especially with how much cloud storage is available and how many apps can actually stream from from online. So I don't see a big need for several hundred gigs on your phone. I think the 16 gig version would be more than enough for most people and the 8 gig version is gonna gonna be fine for for even the, every every average user. Uh, the battery life isn't anything too crazy. It's a 2100 milliamp hour battery, pretty standard. Uh, that gives you about 8 hours of, of video playback, about 15.3 hours of talk time. Um, so, so that's nothing too outstanding, but I can tell you that I, I gave this thing a full charge and it charged extremely quickly. I was, I was impressed with the speed at which it charged at. So um, that's, that's one positive note I can say about the uh, battery and the charging system is it did seem to work very e effectively and efficiently. Uh, I did a review video for the Nexus 10 and that was one big neg negative point of the Nexus 10 is it was very slow at charging. But that's my uh, brief review of the Google Nexus 4. If you've got any other questions about this device, go ahead and give, uh, con go ahead and contact customer service. And thanks for visiting ExtremeGuard.com.